BJ is back and he's letting his nuts hang. He's throwing out some very, very crazy accusations. I'm not going to lie. The BJ accusations I've seen are fucking insane. So let's go through some of them, right? This is courtesy of the one and only Reddit. BGL was quiet for a while and then he fucking jumped up out of nowhere and now he's actually speaking and saying some fucking wild shit. So let's go through some wild shit that BGL is talking about, yeah? So first off, um, I'm going through some of the posts here courtesy on Reddit. Let's see what Hella Mark Harley's been saying, aka the one and only Big Gay Lion. So um, what's the recent one? Da, 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 da. One, two, one, yeah, well, two days ago. Um, a sick of a perfection. He says, I remember being in a room for this conference call with the PR lady, this scammy agency of 24 year old forces connected with him to get Tiger Fig verified, I think was the goal. So it would stop getting shut down every 12 hours. The lady who wrote these articles was like 73 years old. It sounded like she was speaking from a nursing home. Uh, okay, we don't care about that. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. Should question the fallout of with Theo and Vaughn. So this is BGL. According to him, he says, I'll explain further. But yes, legit on several occasions, Brendan has expressed private accusations that Theo has siphoned off like 5K per episode for however many episodes. Brendan's accusing Theo of stealing from him. What? After some audit by one of Brendan's retarded business managers, the only vaguely brought it up to him because he's a huge pussy to anyone socially above him. So Brendan thinks Theo is stealing, but because Theo's bigger than him, he's not going to say nothing. I overheard an hour-long conversation on a speaker. The retrospect was about the podcast thievery. Theo's like a brother. You're fucking it up. The money not coming in, and you're bad at business. And managing money, of course, and Brendan didn't take that too well and wrote Theo off as being a mentally ill. Wow. Difficult to work with and ultimately just in the wrong. How'd that work out for Fat Patrick? And by the way, I don't think Fia stole the dime. I think Brennan is just fucking idiot who can't do basic maths, but the false accusations was 25 to 500k stolen. That's an odd accusation to pull out there, isn't it? Very, very strange. So they're accusing Fio of robbing Brendan of money, which is what led to the breakup. I'm going to press X a doubt for that one. I'm going to press X a doubt. My running theory is it was a combination of things. Now that we know that Brendan introduced Theo to Podcast One, I have a feeling that most likely Theo was always a little bit, you know, wary of working with Brendan long term because of all the drama around him, right? The beefs of other comedians, the fact that he wasn't looked at the greatest and also the work schedule. Because I remember beforehand, before they did the whole refurb of King and Sting, before he went to that dark blue, black colorway and it was that yellow thing, right? With the B and the fucking uh, scorpion thing. Fia was talking about being overworked. So I guess he'd always wanted a, a different type of work-life balance. He never liked to do like so many shows of King of the Sting, then do his own show, blah, blah, blah. So most likely he didn't like the work schedule or the workload. Um, he was a bit, you know, uncomfortable with Brendan and the controversy around him and being associated with him and how badly it would look at him. Obviously, the, the Podcast One deal probably left a sour taste in the mouth because Brendan introduced him to Podcast One. Then they end up fucking... Um, then they end up uh, holding his money and shit. Um... And then I guess that's it. But I think all those things played into it. I don't think it was only one thing. But I very much doubt that Theo stole money off him. I very much doubt that. I guess because if that was the case, he would have said something. Do you know what I mean? See, like he would have said something and he would have been a bit more, you know, vocal about it. But, or maybe insinuated uh, that something like that happened. If anything, most likely, this is probably proof that Brendan probably gets so much money via podcasting and he has so many horrible people around him who are probably stealing off of him that they accuse other people of stealing. That's probably what happened. I bet you. I bet you any money that most likely somebody else is stealing and they pointing at fear of to want to be stealing to take attention away from him. I bet you. I bet you that's the case. I can, I, I can believe there's a situation where Brendan doesn't know how much exact money comes through his account. Do you know what I mean? Or how much money he's meant to get. How much money he should be receiving and people are siphoning it off and then he's thinking it's going other places. So that might be part of the reason why. I'm not really too sure, but I think so. I think so. Uh, what are you guys saying in the chat? Does the cash go into the bank account exactly? Um, I remember we tried to get the sub to subscribe to his wife's OnlyFans. Really? Oh, shit. Uh, press X for doubt for Theo. Lex. Exactly, 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 exactly. exactly. Um, but do I think that Theo didn't, wasn't honest with Brendan while he left? Yes. I have a feeling that's true. I have a feeling that Theo is probably not very good at 
I won't say confrontation, but like being direct with people. So you probably didn't know, let Brendan actually know why he actually left. You just kind of made it seem like something else. I, I would be surprised if Theo lied and told Brendan, I'm going through some mental health thing. That's why I don't want to do the show or something. He wasn't honest. Like he just didn't want to be around him because it was bad for business. Because that's also another theory. Another theory is that somebody high up at CAA noticed Theo's talent and said, hey, if you really want to go for the stars, if you really want to achieve some big things, you've got to drop Brendan. And it's no coincidence, as soon as he dropped Brendan, Theo's gone sky high. So I think most likely somebody in the industry, somebody within the scene, industry plugged in business guy, I was like, hey, you've got to drop that guy. He's not good for business. Have you guys not? I just think, think for us, big up high def. There was no tiger fic in that video. That little brows and chin video, there was no tiger fic. Interesting, isn't it? You'd think that Brendan would want to push tiger fic on that video, but there was no tiger fic whiskey. No big long shot of the whiskey there, like nothing. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe because that shit isn't good. <laughs> Maybe because it's fucking actually battery, you know, battery fluid and shit. You never know. What what do I know? What the fuck do I know? Um let's continue here with uh some BGL stuff. It's got an email live that feels podcast is literally hundred times numbers of TFK does. I've never met a person who pretends to her heart to seem happy for people while being extremely jealous and hateful, dismissive in private. But I think that's how they all are, to be fair. This is a really good point by BGL, but I think they all like that. I think that whole thing they all do, where they all kind of repeat what Rogan says about, oh yeah, the comedy community is super helpful. We all help each other out. I think they all just say that to lip service, to like act like Joe Rogan. But I think they all privately hate each other. That's my running theory. I think most stand-up comedians are all jealous of each other, with the exception of Joe Rogan probably, because he's made all the money. But I think most of them, they all pretend like they're all good friends, which is good anyway, for the sake of it, because I think on paper, sorry, on the screen, they all kind of look, pretend like they're all friends and it helps their career because they all come on each other's pods. They all record content with each other. So that's a good thing. They all help each other out. But I think privately, behind closed doors, in green rooms and shit, they definitely talk shit about each other. I don't think that's a, something that's only specific to Brendan. I think they all do it. And one thing about Brendan, he's very much copies what everyone else does in the industry. So, so he does what everyone else does. So I think they all do it personally. I don't think it's just Brendan. Another one here, uh, reposting my reply from another friend. I'll explain further. But yes, legit. So, okay, cool. Uh, Papa has in fact spent 30K plus on PR firms for incredible results like this. But this is a part of the PR firm article that he gets written about. It says, National Touring Entertainer launches alternative beverage for Santa this holiday via the Dallas Morning News. He had this article published to make himself look like a, what, a fucking, um, a tycoon. I guess this is what those guys online do, isn't it? All those um, motivational speakers, guys, this is what they probably do, isn't it? And this is how you probably get verified if you want to get paid for it. You pay a PR company to reach out to news outlets or whatever to write favorable articles about you. Then you reach out to places like Instagram and say, hey, this news article, this news company wrote about me, verify me, you get verified and then you use the clout from the verification and the endorsement from that news article to then spread your scam. Pretty wild, isn't it? But I think that's what they do. It's a pretty crazy game. So that's why some people, when they get scammed, is you have to have some sympathy for them because on paper, how would you not think some, how would you, how would you guess somebody is a scam artist if they have a verified, you know, Instagram page they have articles written about them and their business in legit news publications. It's hard to see what's paid for and what's not paid for. This is obviously a bit pay bait to you know, the, even the title, right? But it's hard to kind of tell if you're not really plugged in like that. So God almighty, bro. Fucking hell. Anyway, continuing on with the BGL post. Posted more from the full story. Duh, duh. Another one says, yeah, he honestly gets so, what's that? He honestly gets so terrified at people who support him the most. An Uber driver or a fan at a show or a guy on the street saying what's up, he always acts like it's the biggest inconvenience all the time and he just couldn't wait to exit the interaction. His favourite phrase is to refer to two people having a normal convo as you guys almost done a podcast. Jesus Christ. Ah, yeah, that's true though because you see it a lot with those, with those clips of him behind the scenes where a, a fan will come up to like a genuine fan like loving him, giving him loads of praise and he always acts like, I don't know, he's just nervous. Maybe it's because... He thinks everybody's a troll in real life. Who knows? But he doesn't really seem like he's really appreciative of people coming up to him and saying something to him. Or maybe it's an ego thing. Maybe he thinks he's the biggest star of what he is and he really feels like he's inconvenienced because they're coming up to him. Who knows? Um, let's go to some more BGL posts here. 
I am now in contact with a lady from a labor board handling my case. So things are moving along a black slowly. Okay, cool. So that's to do with his pay. Hopefully he does get his pay done for him um, soon. He's, he's, uh, his wages have been withheld, which is fucking crazy, isn't it? Only Brendan would do that. Brendan's such an idiot because most likely BGL is going to win that case, right? Because Brendan is allegedly withholding um, wages from BGL and he's filed a... Uh, what's it? I think, well, I forgot what that term is in the fucking employment courts, right? So most likely they will side in BGL's favour. And most likely, because of the inconvenience and the time it's taking, he's gonna be able, he's gonna have to pay BGL more than what he's actually owed. So to spite BGL because of BGL put his news out there, he's you know he's gonna spite he he spited BGL because of him exposing him, but he's gonna end up paying him more money. It's so dumb. Just pay him the money and get him out of your life. You don't need to like with whatever. He's such a he's 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 such a stickler for shooting himself in the foot. He's so dumb. Exactly. Attorney fee, all that. It's just, anyway, whatever. Um, another post here. But speaking of personal experience and from three or four months, a specific... What? Okay, cool. Speaking from personal experience and for at least three to four others who've given me specific examples, Brendan is, has a strong rec track record of saying he will pay a specific amount, especially in verbal agreement, then abruptly either not paying it or cut the pay in half or more for some silly made up reason that he'll have his manager tell you. Not going to name names out of curiosity, but besides myself, I know of guys he's fucked out of 30k for not following through on financial commitments. And I'm not talking rich dudes. I'm talking about struggling to make ends meet in LA. This is me near the top of the unforgivable narcissistic traits. Jesus Christ. Again, great guy. Never met him. Another one. Factual part. Since I've known Brendan, he's maintained a regular ongoing section. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the factual part is since i've known brendan he has maintained a regular ongoing sexual relationship with whitney cummings that i don't know the deets but i do know from multiple side pieces he has a huge breeding fetish and refuses to wear condoms she won't sh so we won't know without paternity test uh, or really just an iq test but it's most certainly not outside our own possibility so people are saying that Brendan is BG is, is Whitney Cummings' baby dad. The father of Whitney Cummings' unborn child is Brendan. <sighs> if that's true, he's fucked. If that's true, he's fucked. He's married in LA, right, California. They've got some crazy rules about um what you call it, settlements and shit when you're in divorce. If that's true, the Mexican is gonna get fucking paid. If that's true. She's going to get fucking paid. And Brendan's going to have what? Child support? Oh my God, bro. He's only got three kids of his own. Plus Whitney's. He's going to have four kids under the age of 18. Yes, to support. Holy shit. <laughs> four kids under 18. Four kids under 10. He has support. In LA. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And for sure, Whitney Cummings' kid's going to go to Sarah Canyon as well, right? Whitney Cummings' kids ain't going to some public school. Whitney Cummings' kids is definitely going to fucking Sierra Canyon, right? And, you know, and see the cyanide hospital and shit. Fucking hell. Um, do I think it's true? I'm going to press X for doubt. Do I think Brendan and Whitney have fucked, you know, since the time they used to date? probably right it's la people do some fucked up shit it is what it is but do i think to the point where that kid might be his nah i think that's a bit of a stretch if it was we would have probably heard more about it already have they fucked before since they've broken up probably i i would probably think they have there's more likelihood of them fucking than with brenda be the dad of her unborn kid that's fucking wild if true that's wild if true because isn't she in a relationship as well Whitney? is it is it when you dating somebody like a doctor or something or oh, am I mistaken? I think, I remember last time I checked in or oh, I saw content, she was talking about being with some doctor person or something. I'm not sure if that's true. But if that is true and that guy thinks he's a dad, he might as well, he, she should probably get a paternity test just to be doubly sure. But yeah, fuck it now, bro. Fuck it now. <laughs> Mufasa never dies. Never lies. Big up <laughs> Rodeo Brito. That's hilarious. My colleague is receipts. Exactly right, Joseph. Whitney Peck Bapa. Don't question the big deal lying. You get it in that moment, though. No. Yeah. 
Whitney's the last woman you'd want to be your baby daddy for. Yeah, Whitney's kid will have the best of the best. Nelly's education, exactly. Brent's going to have to pay a big dollar to keep her out. Fuck you, know. AZ the papa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am the father. I am the father of that kid. Oh, oh Whitney's single, Josie said. Okay, Whitney's single. Okay, fair enough. Whitney's single, but she's pregnant. Huh. <laughs> Whitney is Mary. Whitney is Mary, <laughs> mother of Jesus. Um, I'm gonna finish, what, what say specific needs. Talk shit behind people's backs. Many fans. Nobody thinks. Fuck Daniel Day Lewis. He scared shitless of beefing with her. See him. See him after he got off the phone with Kalila. She ripped him a new one, like he was seeing a 20 year old kid coming from Vietnam War. Changed for life. One percent correct. Human interactions. Don't do the da. Uh oh, okay. Things are going well. Doing couples therapy. Hold on, God, blow my nose. One second. Isn't isn't doing couples therapy the comp the the complete opposite of doing well relationship wise? Isn't that a sign that your relationship isn't going well? Or am I looking at it too, you know, simplistically? If you're in couples therapy, isn't that more so a sign that you're not going well? Or is that just something, what's that thing called? Or is that just something you do positively to help your relationship? I don't know. You tell me in the chat if you go through couples therapy. I always thought couples therapy was a way for you to like reconcile and to kind of deal with your issues with a third party. So, so it wouldn't get too crazy and you could talk through your problems, understand each other, blah, blah, blah. But usually it's because you've gotten to a place where you can't communicate well. So you have to have a third party kind of act as the intermediary, no? No? Or am I mistaken there? I don't know. Wishing them the luck though. Wishing wishing BJ and Luana the luck. More luck than ever. I want them to breed, have loads of BJ and Luana babies around so we can have more entertainment to kind of talk about, to be honest. I want them to be together for fucking ever. Please be together forever. Um, we all saw him lifting a car. What do you think? <laughs> exactly. Okay, good point. Exactly. Good point, good point, good point, good point. Um... Have a dead car, dead, dead lift of the car in weeks, he says. Uh, sounds about right. Not far as critical. Thinking high school level. The, okay, here. The problem, the problem with guys like Brendan is he has this pipe dream of being a big shot businessman CEO like his dad. But he knows nothing about managing employees, running an efficient business, time management, delegation, micromanaging. He can't do any of the skills he's ch in charge of people doing like audio engineering, video recording, editing Photoshop, uh, for fun thumbnails he even sucks at booking guests compared to the guy he they hired last year um die t fat k he's in charge but does nothing competently or often just can't do it at all so when he starts pretending like he knows the first thing about financially auditing and production budgets then vocalizes that privately to accuse his best friend is secretly stealing several hundreds of thousands of dollars from him over the course of four years it's just the biggest yikes of all time okay that's fair that's a fair accusation. You know what's really interesting too? It's that idea. A lot of these guys do it though, to be fair. A lot of these podcast comedian guys are like, I'm a hard worker, I graft, I grind. Where really they have entire production companies or production people doing most of the heavy lifting. Like recording the shows, clipping them up, thumbnails, titles, you know, lighting, cameras, all that shit is done by somebody else. But yet they're acting as if they're like doing it on their own. Where really all they do is turn up and sit in front of a microphone, basically. Right? And that and again, that's like half of the work because if you don't think about making content, half of the thing about making content is actually the editing and the final touches when you upload it and shit. So the fact that they talk so big about what they do when they don't really do much is hilarious. But yeah. And it also must be hard for Brendan too, because he's, if you don't feel about his dad's story, I remember seeing a post about his dad on LinkedIn or a LinkedIn post of Brendan's dad showing his, 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 his history and shit. And that guy's really accomplished. You know, he served in the military, um, had, you know, worked in several companies, owned several businesses, big promotions. Like he's actually, you know, a legit guy on paper. Like he's actually super smart, looks very, very ambitious, very successful in business, career-wise, whatever it may be. So if you're Brendan and you've got that guy as a dad, there's probably a internal pressure, or maybe you just think because he's your dad, you you're also the same as well. When really you're not. You know what I mean, you're not the same at all in the slightest, especially when it comes to IQ. Um, can't believe I didn't realize he was a dumb boy when I worked with him. Uh, dude, I don't take IDs anymore. Any temporary boost of productivity you feel makes me feel like sh okay. 
Uh, I don't have any intel about the prediction. There's less views, quality entertainment, less consistency. Okay, we don't care about that. And that's about it, really. I don't think there's anything more that was broken. But the main news is that BGL is a legend. BG, BGL is out here a legend that Brendan is allegedly sleeping with fucking Whitney behind everybody's back, which is fucking crazy, to be fair, if true. But I don't believe that rumour, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. I don't believe it. If anything, I believe they might have been fucking before, but I don't believe to a point where Brendan is secretly fathering her fucking child. That is, that's just too, that's too telenovela for me. That's too much. What do you guys think?